the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Well, we gather today uh, in, at Mass for, to uh, celebrate the uh, sacrifice of the Mass in honor of St. Joseph, because he was really a blessed man, a holy, just man. He was called to be the early father of the Son of God and the husband of the mother of God. He must have been in awe of this responsibility and he must have at times trembled with holy fear in the face of so great a challenge. What's interesting to note, however, is that the beginning of this call seemed to be marked with an apparent scandal. Mary was pregnant, and it was not from Joseph. So how could this be? The only earthly explanation was infidelity on Mary's part. But this was so contrary to whom Joseph perceived her to be. He certainly would have been quite shocked and quite confused as he faced this apparent a dilemma. So what should he do? We know that he decided to do what he decided to do at first. He decided to divorce her quietly, but then an angel spoke to him in a dream. And after he awoke from the sleep, from his sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took his wife into his home. One aspect of this situation to ponder is the fact that Joseph had to embrace his wife and her son in faith. This new family of his was beyond human reason alone. There was no way to make sense of it simply by trying to figure it out. He had to approach it with faith. Faith means he had to rely upon the voice of God speaking to him in his conscience. Yes, he relied on what the angel spoke to him in, in the dream. But that was just a dream. And people have all kinds of, uh, of dreams. And most of them are very strange. So his human tendency would be to question this dream and wonder if this was real or not. Was this really from God? Is this child truly from the Holy Spirit? And how could this be? All of these questions and every other question that would have arisen in St. Joseph's mind could only be answered by faith. But the good news is that faith does give answers. Faith enables a person to face the confusions of life with strength, with conviction, with certitude. Faith opens up the door to peace in the midst of uncertainty and chaos. It eliminates fear and replaces it with the joy of knowing that you are doing God's will. Faith works, and faith is what all we need in life to survive. So reflect today upon the depth of your faith in the face of apparent difficulties. Follow the example of St. Joseph. Let God say to you, do not be afraid. He spoke this to St. Joseph, and he speaks this to you today. God's ways are far above our ways. His thoughts are far above our thoughts, and his wisdom is far beyond our wisdom. God had a perfect plan for St. Joseph's life, and he does the same thing for every single one of you.